they'll lose it. Then they're in the pay change. But maybe and then um, just leave them open, leave the gate, gates open now that Alan's cows are out of there. And then next spring when Alan puts his cows back in there. Close the gates. Close the gates if Ben doesn't mind. Which is what happened, you know, and I'm, I'll certainly get involved if need be. Well, I will have to be involved eventually. We'll check into it and get something figured out as far as the turnaround spot. Okay. I guess I want to maybe want to look into it a little bit. If they're encroaching that far out of the right way, maybe we need to well, yeah. have a discussion with them anyway. Okay. So the decision is that the road is going to be maintained and plowed? And then are you going to look into renaming it? Or be with the board to get out of the three nine one one board. And that board consists of usually all the mayors of the nine towns. Well, I guess again I'm not really involved, but to, to me the first thing would be to talk to Chuck and say I mean I, I would think if it came from you as a landowner that you didn't like that you felt it should be a, a address more like a rule. You know, called like 359th, whether you'd have any influence with him or not, I don't know. Our main concern is that emergency services can find us. And, you know, I mean, if there's a way to right. leave it named that and they can find us, I don't mind it, do it you? Know? I mean, that hurt me. But, you know, if you think, I don't know that much about emergency services, so I don't know how hard it's going to be for everybody to get that on their maps and their computers and be able to find us. Right. So, I mean, whatever the, if the 911 board thinks it's best, then change it. If they think it's going to be okay, leave it. I mean, that's, you know, our concern's not the name of the street, it's that people will find us. So. I, I think that's, that's an E911 and, and property owner decision. And if you guys come to an amicable arrangement. Um, well, John probably should probably be visited too as far as how it's going to be. Yeah, because his address is going to be affected too. Yeah. yeah. At least I think it should have been. Yeah. Be, I don't know. I tried calling you left a phone message here. I tried calling back on the 25th. 
about 2.35 in the afternoon, I couldn't get any answer to your I probably shut my cell phone off at work. Oh. So, okay. and we don't have a house phone right now. Don't have an empty one. Kind of homeless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not really. We're in transition. Transitional housing. So, but I did get your message. But we have been dis <laughs> discussing this even on the E911 board. We've discussed this before, what we were going to do. At that time, we weren't even certain. That was... I don't know if there's a definite wrong or right answer. I don't know either. All I want to do is be able to find you people, or have everybody else be able to find you if you needed any type of emergency equipment. That's my main, my main concern. Yeah, that's our concern. I've been actually worried about it. We started building it. How do you get more You know, oh. I mean, people panic and I mean, you don't want the ambulance driving around for 15 minutes. <laughs> you worry about me being up on that scale to be no by myself? Well, that's my concern is that we can get to you when, when or if we're ever needed. Hopefully, you'll never need to. Hopefully. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.